Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a BMW and you want to test your crankshaft position sensor. Stay with us and we'll explain how to do that. We'll demonstrate here on these three series guys, but many BMWs will, will use that design. If you have a crankshaft position sensor with three wires, we'll explain guys what needs to be done to test your sensor and know if it's working or if it's not, because the problem could be somewhere else. Uh, before we start guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to our channel and like the video so we can keep providing guys that free information if you need to buy any parts tools anything like that check out guys the links uh, shared in the description of the video below we put them for your convenience so let me show you guys okay what we have now and how we are going to test that sensor pretty simple you need to locate your crankshaft position sensor depending on your bmw and maybe at a different location ours is right under the engine starter right there and this is the wire for the crankshaft position sensor guys the sensor itself okay let me show you this is the sensor now it has three three pins on the inside three wires guys this is the sensor uh, it is kind of like a magnet that de detects if a metal goes by it and it detects uh, the movement of the crankshaft so you will guys have three wires like that that's the connector right here let's let's explain now okay what we are talking about uh, in some cases the colors of the wires may be different but i noticed that most of the times yellow wire is the signal wire uh, black wire will be a ground wire coming from the from the car battery and the orange wire usually guys okay is the one coming from the ignition in our case number one okay you see right here you're going to find numbers guys number one is actually ignition wire number two is a ground wire number three guys okay number three is uh, actually uh, signal wire and uh, we'll show you guys okay you can actually test that if you turn your ignition switch on and you put your negative black lead okay on the uh, black wire and the ignition switch is turned on without the sensor connected and you put the red lead okay on one of the wires wherever you get 12 volts okay that is guys okay your positive battery wire so uh, i'll go ahead guys and show you that in just a second we'll turn the ignition on okay we're not going to put the sensor yet so i'm going to go inside guys it's very important not to start your car do not start your car guys all we have to do turn the ignition on we have a push start button so we need to click it until we see the lights on like that if you have manual ignition go to the second position before you start the car ignition switch is on now what we're going to do okay let me explain now ah hold on i got my cable here let me explain okay how we're going to test the wires so we have a voltmeter here guys okay this is the voltmeter we'll put it to 20 volts now we have okay let me uh, clear things here a little bit we're going to get the black lead and put it in the middle on the black wire and now right here we are going to put on the other wire okay and 12.13 volts uh, the orange wire is our positive wire if we go to the other side okay we get five volts and that's what it should be guys so that's with the sensor disconnected now practically you have to turn your ignition switch off now uh, to to be able to continue but i'll just go ahead okay and do it but don't do what we do we'll plug the sensor in so what we did now guys okay right here we cut that we peel that wire uh, the signal wire a little bit but there is a special device and we'll share the link in the description of the video below that you can just clamp it to the wire and you don't have to cut your wire open now we are going to go ahead and install an alligator clip and with that clip okay we can actually install the red lead okay later right here so that way that can be stationary and we can uh, test it easy uh, black lead will go on a ground wire somewhere on the engine guys usually we scratch the alternator a little bit okay and you need to get about five volts on the on the multimeter five volts now if i get a metal to you guys something metal let's come a little bit this way perfect and i attach it to the sensor it should drop to zero check it out now zero so you can see five volts without metal to attach i attach it and it goes okay ours it's chaotic guys it needs to be every time okay 
it needs to go to 5 volts without metal tool, 2 volts with the metal tool. Ours, okay, test it guys about 10 times, make sure that everything's good and you don't have a loose wire. Sometimes a loose wire can cause that, but now it's working pretty good. So, okay, right now it's stuck. Okay, that's not good guys. Now it's not connecting, it's not communicating, so that's a bad sensor guys. It should be, okay, it should be communicating all the times. Okay. And you can see right now it's working so most of the times it's working correctly but when you apply the metal to it should go to zero volts when you remove it five volts okay that's how it is guys so uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time